The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video I'll be reviewing this. This is Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Double Dealer. And this is a leader class figure and I gotta say he looks really awesome. Now for years I've been waiting for a proper generations double dealer. We got one a few years back that was a just a repaint of Blitzwing. But uh, now we actually have one of his own mold and he definitely deserves it. Here's the side of the box. Awesome box art here. Very cool looking. And the back of the box and you can see the different modes from robot mode to this uh, bird mode and rocket uh, truck and rocket base. And as you can see, it does connect with other MicroMaster bases. Here's the other side of the box and the top. And you know what? Let's just get this guy opened up. Here is Double Dealer out of package. And as you can see, he does come with a lot of stuff. First, we have his instruction sheet. And as you can see on the faction symbol here, he is a mercenary. Very large instruction sheet because he does have a lot of modes. Next, we have this decoder, and that is for the map that is included with Double Dealer. And here's the map. And the location it shows is Caminus. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, let's put this aside. It comes with these two rocket pods. Right here. This, uh, I'm gonna call this a radar dish, and it's kind of cool that it has a little paint app on it. He comes with this shoulder mounted weapon. Uh, the backpack for him, he does parts form a little bit, not too much, but this is a piece that separates from him to form uh, the backpack and then also reconnects in vehicle mode and in his bird mode. It also comes with these two parts that become a large rocket. The first part here becomes his main gun. And the second part becomes the tip of the rocket. And it does have some nice paint dabs with the red and a light blue. And you can join them together. Let's see here, there you go form this large missile. And last but not least, we get Double Dealer himself. And I gotta say, he looks pretty cool. Now, it's not perfect. There's some issues I have with this figure, but I'll go over that later. Let's take a closer look at Double Dealer. Very nice head sculpt, very clean paint apps. And he seems to have quite a few paint apps on him down here now he has this gimmick you can see there's an autobot symbol but you can flip this panel to make him a uh, decepticon so depending on who he's working for you can uh, choose the right affiliation down here some nice paint apps on the legs as well would have been nice if there were paint apps on the rims of the wheels, but uh, for the most part, that's okay. Let's go down here to the feet. A lot of 5mm ports here on the side, on the bottom, and then over here on the arm. And then you can see on the top of the arm as well, and back here. All in all, very cool. And the back where you can see the bird wings. Now, overall, I think he looks great, but I do have one issue with him that I think could probably fi be fixed with an upgrade kit. So if, for me, it seems like this part of his legs is too short in relation to his thigh. So you can see how the thigh is over here and then it bends here and you can see how long that is. And in relation to leg i think it's too short and that's probably just a personal thing but one thing cool is there's a 5mm peg uh, port here so you could possibly give him 
uh, extenders for his legs. You can just plug in there. So I don't know, hopefully some third party company will make it that or maybe I'll try design something in 3D and have it printed out. But that is my only issue with the design of the character. Other than that, I think he looks really awesome. So before we get Double Dealer loaded up, let's check out his articulation, starting with the head. It can rotate. It can't rotate 360 though. It, it's, this piece gets in the way. So while it is on a joint that's able to do that, it can't go all the way without hitting that part arm can rotate 360 can lift up at the shoulder he does have a uh, bicep swivel two points of articulation at the elbow and his wrist can rotate 360. now at the waist he can rotate 360 if you lift up these bird wings there you go rotate 360 you can kick this far mutt out bend his knee this much. Now, again, if you lift the bird wings, he can kick that far back. He does have ankle tilt. And he does have a little thigh rotation. Not so much, but it's, it's there. And that is pretty much it for articulation. Okay, right, let's get Double Dealer fully loaded up. Let's attach his backpack here, shoulder mounted gun here, and what I'm gonna call a radar dish or his rocket launchers here. Rocket on his other shoulder and his gun. And there we have Double Dealer fully loaded out, ready to get some work done for whoever is hiring him. And in this case, it's the Autobots because I have the Autobot symbol uh, being shown there, but yeah, he looks really cool fully decked out with all the accessories the cannons the guns um, Really has that mercenary look going for him And for some size comparisons here he is next to deluxe size Mirage here he is next to siege um, Megatron the Netflix version and here he is next to Earthrise Starstream and as you can see, he is slightly taller than Siege Megatron, but a lot taller than Earthrise Starscream. Here he is next to Siege Ultra Magnus, and as you can see, Ultra Magnus is a lot taller than Double Dealer. Now, in Generation 1, Double Dealer was a Power Master. In fact, he was kind of like Overlord, where he had two Power Masters. One was, uh, I think it was a Bat as well that when that was used, he turned into the bird and the other one was a humanoid power master. When that was used, he turned into the robot. Generation Selects gave us these two guys, which are basically repaints of Ratbat and Rumble slash Frenzy. And uh, probably way as a throwback to the original gimmick, um, these guys can actually go in his chest. Now there's no power master gimmick, but uh, you can utilize him, say for instance. So let's pull the chest out and it kind of mimics that little Power Master feature from way back when. Okay, let's transform a Double Dealer into his bird mode. I don't know, it, it, it's, <laughs> it looks pretty cool in a way. I mean, it, it, it's, it is what it is being that, um, you can see the truck parts. It's not really, uh, I guess it's bird inspired. Very cool that you do have some articulation with the beak. And a little paint chipping in here. It, it would have been nice if they put a tab so that you could easily, like there's this little tab here. It's so slight. And, But uh, it's a neat mode. Again, not my favorite though, of the three or four, because now he does have a base mode. But for some size comparisons, here he is next to Earthrise Wheeljack, a deluxe. 
And here he is next to Earthrise Starscream, uh, Voyager scale. Okay, let's get Double Dealer into his rocket tank mode. Hey, let's take a closer look at Double Dealer in his rocket tank mode. And I think he looks really cool. Again, I would have liked some paint apps on the rims, but for the most part, he looks pretty nice. Now this part, uh, yeah, this can be an issue. Wish there was some kind of panel here to uh, cover all this. Cause you can see this big gap of empty space in the front of the tank. So that's a little downer. But all in all, still a very nice looking tank mode. A little forgiving knowing that there's multiple modes for this guy. So I'm okay with it. But again, it would have been nice if there was some kind of panel here that either came out to cover all this empty space. Now, you can connect him to the other MicroMaster bases or bridges. It's going to flip it over so that it angles down. And you can bring this out and lift this up to launch the rocket. And like I said, you can connect the Earthrise ramps to him and I have sound barrier here. And for some vehicle mode size comparisons, here he is next to Earthrise wheel jack. Let's put him on this side here. And here he is next to Earthrise Starscream. Again, the rocket tank is not really to scale with anything, but I'm okay with that. Okay, let's get this guy back into robot mode for my final thoughts. Now, something interesting I just noticed, and I couldn't find anything in the instructions, is um, in Double Dealer's chest, there's this piece that can come out and it looks like it's attached to a 5mm peg. I'm not sure exactly what this is supposed to be. It kind of looks like an engine of some sort, but uh, who knows, I, maybe I missed it. If you guys see it, let me know. But uh, I thought that was kind of interesting that this piece came off and I, for the life of me, couldn't find anything in the instructions about it. So my final thoughts on Earthrise Double Dealer. Overall, I'm really pleased. I'm really glad we got this figure. I think it's an awesome update to the uh, old G1 uh, character. Way better than the update that we got uh, with um, that Blitzwing repaint. Um, the biggest fault I have with this figure is I truly think the lower part of the legs are too short. Um, if it was just a little bit taller, um, I, I just think the thighs are too long for what the lower part of the legs are. And maybe that's just me. Um, but that is probably the biggest fault I see in robot mode and in vehicle mode. The biggest fault I see is like that big gap um, on the front of the vehicle. So glad Hasbro is doing characters uh, beyond the first three years of the original series and going toward the end of the series and giving us updated versions of them for us old timers. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Follow us on social media and check out our Discord. Links in the description below.